I'm glad to share this devotional uh, with you today. It's from Psalm 37, and it's from verses 8 through 11. And it reads like this. Refrain from anger and turn from wrath. Do not fret. It leads only to evil. For evil men will be cut off, but those who hope in the Lord will inherit the land. A little while, and the wicked will be no more. Though you look for them, they will not be found. But the meek will inherit the land and enjoy great peace. These are some promises from Psalm 37. And they are promises that encourages us, encourage us that uh, meekness and kindness and gentleness will win the day. It will take some time, but it will win the day. Of course, you know that uh, our uh, land is filled with a lot of anger right now. There's anger to politicians. There's anger to policemen. There's anger between uh, races. And some of this uh, anger is uh, out of uh, the feeling of being disenfranchised or the feeling of uh, being uh, put down for many, many years. There are certainly things that do need to be reformed. But my encouragement from reading these verses today is for us to look above, to trust the Lord, to wait for him to move, and then also to be kind and compassionate yet firm in our resolve, and wait and see how the Lord will move. This is the example of a man who caused a lot of great reform a number of years ago, and I wish to share with you uh, some of the testimony from William Wilberforce. Some of you might remember the name of William Wilberforce. He's a British politician, a philanthropist, and he's most known for being a leader in abolishing the slave trade. But he also accomplished a few other things, such as the uh, Free Colony in Sierra Leone, and then also the Society for the Prevention of um, the Cruelty to Animals. This was a meek but uh, firmly resolved person. And he urges us to be meek and kind and loving but firm. He wrote a book called uh, A Practical View of Christianity. That's the short title. The longer is uh, I'll, I'll go without. But he had this quote uh, within it. And he writes this about the Christian faith. Is it not the great end of religion, and in particular the glory of Christianity, to extinguish the malignant passions, in other words, the, the, the things that uh, rile people up, to curb the violence, to control the appetites, and to smooth the asperities of man, to make us compassionate and kind and forgiving one to another, to make us good husbands, good fathers, and to render us active and useful in the discharge of the relative social and civil duties. And to this end, uh, William Wilberforce would labor and labor for many, many years in the parliament, sometimes uh, uh, suffering some great defeats. But at the end of the day, William Wilberforce, with his kindness, his meekness and resolve, won the day and the slave trade was abolished from the United Kingdom. In fact, just a few days before he passed on, William Wilberforce realized that this law had passed and it had largely been passed through the efforts of this meek man who was kind, gentle, but resolute, and prayed and waited on the Lord. So I leave before you his example today in a society that's uh, filled with a fair amount of rage right now, and I conclude by reading once again Psalm 37, verses 7 through 11. Be still before the Lord, and wait patiently for him. Do not fret when men succeed in their ways, when they carry out their wicked schemes. Refrain from anger and turn from wrath. Do not fret, it leads only to evil. For evil men will be cut off, but those who hope in the Lord will inherit the land. A little while, and the wicked will be no more. Though you look for them, they will not be found. But the meek will inherit the land and enjoy great peace. May God bless you as you seek him in meekness and kindness and wait on him to uh, work in your world and also in the greater world for peace and security. May God's blessing be with you today.